Okay, so now we're going to talk about generics, okay? Generics are basically allow you to not just have a um, single type um, when you pass um, passing values to a function or a method. Um, you, can, you can use multiple types. It allows flexibility. So, for, for example, this, this, um, so, um, so let's say we're going to do, um, we're going to kind of iterate, right? We're going to get the index of a value, right? This is a very simple example. Let the int array. <laughs> okay, and now we have a string array. Tyson. Okay. Jesus Christ, I hate, I don't understand why this thing is doing this. Errol Spence, um, Ford, Ford. Okay, um, so I have two arrays. Now I need to go ahead and um, get index. Get index or type. Okay, so what I'm going to do is iterate through them and whatever the index is, return it, right? Or okay, oh shit. Target. This should do it, okay. Int array, target four. This should return three. Zero, one, two, three, that's four. <clears throat> now, however, say we want this function to be flexible enough to accept strings and get the index. Mm -hmm. Simple, right here. This is a generic type right there. It's a placeholder. And you're gonna, what, you, what it does is either you're going to um, put in a type down here for it to adhere to, or it'll be inferred. T, T, okay, <clears throat> let's see, now right here, this doesn't work, right, and why doesn't it work, because the constraints help it, 
So if I want this to be string, we both know that that integers and strings both adhere to what protocol? We know it. Equatable and comparable. Doesn't matter which one we pick. I'm going to take equatable because it's an equal sign. But we can use a comparable as well. Equatable. Now, I run this same thing. But you know something? If I change this to straw array and I pick Errol Spence. <clears throat> Zero, one, two, three, Errol Spence, okay? Of course, if Errol Spence says, it should be no, because there is no Errol Spence's in there, right? Okay, so this is an example of an array, right? And of course, it was inferred what type, why, because I passed in an array of strings. So it was inferred that this would be string. And another thing too, we use the equatable constraint. So it looks at things that are, <clears throat> that conform to equatable. Of course, if you watch the protocol video tape, you know what that means. All right, so on to the next, on to the next. 